Hey everybody, this is Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It's Monday, Jan 6th and a very, very happy new year to all our subscribers and your families. Uh, welcome to the Swing Trading Signal Service in 2020 and uh, we're going to make this a very good year for swing trading. And uh, what I want to do in this video is give a set of guidelines and a couple of changes that uh, we are going to do with the Swing Trading Signals program. So first of all, let me give some guidelines for especially people that have come in new or even if you're older in the program, uh, you want to be aware of uh, these kind of guidelines. So let me jump into that right now. So first of all, I'm trading this account assuming a size of about 50K to 60K. Now you could have more than that, you could have less than that and you will need to choose contract sizes as per your account size. I will generally start with five contracts on a single long or a long put or a long call and if it's a spread I may start with 10 contracts but regardless if the account size is 50 to 60k so if I'm taking five contracts and if you have a 25k account then you should just half that maybe two contracts or maybe three contracts and you can prorate that accordingly. Always leave about 40 to 50% capital for adjustments. As we know, options, the, the key feature of options is adjustments. And so we will need capital for that. So make sure you have capital available. Now, it doesn't mean that we never use this capital. We are going to use this capital. But if you find a new trade, if you see a new trade recommendation, and if your capital is already below the 40% level, then you don't want to take that new trade. You want to keep that capital for adjusting your existing positions. And so you don't have to take every trade you keep open positions also as per your account diagonals and iron condors require a little bit more margin so please watch out for them in general I'll try to be doing more debit spreads rather than the diagonals and if I do a, a time a time spread which is a diagonal or a calendar I'll prefer to do a calendar because that does not require additional margin so this is some of the things that I'm going to be changing here and once you get a trade recommendation, the trade recommendation will come to you at least an hour or two before the markets open. And so option prices are going to change when the markets open. If people have to go to work and therefore I have to put the video out at least an hour or two before the markets open. And so when the markets open, option prices are going to change. And if a trade recommendation is, has been given, and if the stock is moving up higher quickly, you want to take the trade. I mean, you might have to pay a little more for it, but you want to get in on that trade. And similarly, if the stock is going down, then you want to wait a little bit at least and pick a good time. Because if you're buying a call option and the stock is going down, then your call option is going to get cheaper if it goes down. So it, it really, you know, the first 15 minutes to half an hour, it would be good if you can watch the market open and pick the right time for your trades. Now, you may not catch the perfect uh, trade entry but it's good to wait and uh, try to catch the best entry there when we do take trades on some high priced options like Amazon or Google I will always recommend a spread to begin with however if you have a small account and you feel a certain option is very high priced or a certain trade is very high priced then you, you might want to avoid that or just lessen the, your number of contracts uh, you can always control your position by the contract sizes and so please keep a keen eye on that now obviously knowledge of spreads and advanced strategies is a very big plus even though we mostly start out with long calls and long puts but sometimes we will do, be doing spreads and some advanced strategies and so knowledge of these spreads and advanced strategies is a very big plus and if you need help with any education on any of these strategies please email us at info at option .com. so this is a broad set of guidelines that will apply to the swing signals program and uh, what I'm going to do now is go to the platform and uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the things that you're going to see uh, which will be a little different from uh, from last year and so let's go over to the platform and I'll show you some of the changes and some of these are very exciting for the swing program and uh, let me explain all of those next so you're going to see a new layout in 2020 and one of the most exciting uh, features is I'm going to add the multi time frame trend indicator into our swing trading analysis. So what I've done is I've moved my watch list here to the left hand side. Previously, it was under the market watch tab, but I have moved it now to the left side. And so and I've added the swing trades signal. This is the swing trade algo over here, which you can see the very bullish, very bearish, neutral and so on. 
and I've also just trimmed the number of stocks that we look at uh, uh, just a little bit because uh, what I want to do is be able to focus and get the trades right and so we want to be having a very uh, you know fixed basket and these are all high liquidity stocks so we don't need to worry about that and then of course I have some indices like the bonds and uh, of course the ES uh, and maybe uh, gold or something uh, but uh, I have gold in uh, GLD itself yeah so gold will be the ETF and what we are going to do is look at this and then we are going to also dip into the multi -time, uh, time frame trend indicator and uh, uh, use it for taking our trades. So the goal is I want to have no more than about seven to eight open trades. And then if I want to make an adjustment, what I will probably do is make it a debit spread instead of a diagonal. But if I do want the advantage of time decay from a time spread, then what I'll do is I'll do it as a calendar. So if we do it as a calendar, the margins are much less. In fact, it doesn't require additional margin at all. And so I'll be doing it as a calendar or I'll just do it as a debit spread to begin with. Sometimes we may have to get into diagonals and iron condors, which we'll decide on a case to case basis. So you're going to see the market watch here. You're going to see the charts are going to be nice and big. And so I've linked uh, both the market watch and the charts tab. So we can just cycle through these and we'll know exactly uh, what are the trades to be taken. So these are some of the changes that uh, you're going to see. Uh, most importantly, the guidelines is very important. And so I'm going to include that slide uh, on all of the videos at the end. I'll, I'll include that slide. So that's it. Welcome to the swing trading program in Jan 2020. We are facing a geopolitical situation around the world and uh, we'll be structuring our trades uh, accordingly. But I uh, want to welcome you to 2020 and Happy New Year again to all our subscribers. Thank you.